In a monarchy, the common saying, long live the king, is not always a sincere statement. If you are next in line of the succession to the throne, you will have even fewer reasons to wish for the longevity of the king or queen. The problem with being heir apparent is that there is no quick way to know how long we will wait for the moment of coronation. Sometimes it lasts a truly short time, sometimes an eternity. We have made a list of heirs who have had to wait a long time. Many didn't even get to rule. Some outlived the monarch, others outlived the monarchy itself. We start the list with Prince Isabel, heir to the throne for 41 years, from 1848 to 1889. In the end, she didn't even get to be empress. Princess Isabel was the heiress presumptive rather than heir apparent, an important legal distinction. Any male children of her father, Emperor Pedro II, forced her to step back in the line of succession. When her brother, Pedro Afonso, was born in 1848, he became the first successor, but unfortunately, the boy died before his second year of life. Pedro II was a popular and successful emperor who ruled Brazil for 58 years, but he was a man of his time. He seriously doubted whether a woman, including his beloved daughter, could rule after him. Isabel did not ascend to the throne, but she left a huge mark in Brazilian history. She was regent in place of her father on three occasions while the emperor was ill or abroad. During her third and final regency, she signed the Lei Aurea in 1888, which formally abolished slavery in Brazil. Although the abolition of slavery was a popular movement, Brazil's wealthy plantation owners and urban elites became enemies of the crown. The former slaves were legally freed, but, without any support from the state, were forced to continue working as sharecroppers. The emperor was disposed in a coup in 1889 and lived out his last years in exile in France alongside his royal family. Princess Isabel died on November the 14th, 1921, at the age of 75. Christian, Crown Prince of Norway and Denmark, waited to ascend the throne for 44 and 39 years respectively. In the case of Norway, he waited from 1603 until 1647. In Denmark, he waited from 1608 to 1647. But why so long? Well, to date, Denmark has had 10 kings named Christian. The one who did not ascend to the throne was Christian, the prince-elect, who was supposed to rule as Christian V. When he was born in 1603, Denmark and Norway were ruled by the House of Oldenburg, but they had different laws of succession. Since Denmark was a nominally elective monarchy, Christian was not technically the heir apparent until 1603, despite being first in line of succession to the Norwegian crown since his birth. From an early age, the prince disappointed his father, also named Christian. The young man had a lavish lifestyle and an inappropriate relationship with the noblewoman Anna Luca, things the king disapproved of. He later married into a boisterous ceremony in 1634 to the German noblewoman Magdalena Sibyl of Saxony. The union produced no children. Christian fell ill and died suddenly at the age of 44, just a few months before his father. The crown went to his younger brother, Frederick III. Louis, Grand Dauphin, son of Louis XIV, witnessed an endless 49 years between 1661 and 1711. The funniest thing is that he didn't even assume the French throne, as he died four years before his father. Many French rulers have used the name Louis, but there could have been even more if fate had so willed it. Louis, Grand Dauphin, was one of the Louis who never was. As the eldest son of Louis XIV, he ill-fatedly belonged to the line of succession of France's oldest monarch. His father ruled for an impressive 72 years. Louis, the heir, had little interest in politics and spent most of his time in leisure activities, much to Louis XIV's dismay. But the many wars waged by the king at least gave the Grand Dauphin some chances to shine. In the War of the Grand Alliance, the prince proved to be a competent military commander. When everything seemed to indicate that he would assume the throne, he contracted smallpox and died at the age of only 49, four years before his father. The monarch's eldest son did not assume the throne either, as he died of measles. The one who took over the French throne was his grandson, the future King Louis XV, who also had a long reign. 
James Francis Edward Stuart waited 65 years to assume the English throne, between 1701 and 1766, but his story is a quaint one. His dynastic house had been deposed, but he did not give up ruling. Legally, James Francis Edward Stuart was the heir apparent for only a few months as a child, between 1688 and 1689. He would have been James III, but the Glorious Revolution broke out, and his dynasty was deposed. In his place, William III assumed the crown along with Mary II, and the 1701 Act of Settlement permanently banned Catholics from the line of succession. James was forbidden to assume the crown. Raised in France, he did not give up his right to the throne. There were several movements in Britain in support of the Old Pretender, the most significant being the efforts led by his son, Charles Edward Stuart, in 1745. Despite some early successes, the Jacobite army was defeated in April 1746 at the Battle Culloden, the last pitch battle fought on British soil. James died in 1766 at the age of 77. The crown prince who waited the longest for the throne was Charles III of Great Britain. He had to wait a mere 70 years to ascend the throne between 1952 and September 2022. Until his ascension, Charles was the oldest heir in British history. He became first in line at the age of just three, in 1952, when Queen Elizabeth II ascended the English throne. His mother's extraordinarily long reign forced Charles to spend his entire life waiting. But, as Prince of Wales, he had many things to fill his time with. Charles wrote and contributed to several books, learned to play different instruments, had experiences related to urban planning, and founded a successful organic food company. Today, already at retirement age, his real career has just begun.